How's it going guys? My name is Alden Morris and today I want to discuss with you specifically the front flaps for the Optune Play Carrier by Bees Combat Systems. Now the front flaps by Bees Combat Systems has actually evolutionized quite considerably in the last six to eight months, uh, specifically during this pandemic because a lot of market trends have been evolving as well as customer demands. Just simple things like that that has really uh, inspired the designers at Beast Combat Systems to really evolve the front flap for the benefit of the consumer. So, uh, to just, when you first purchased, excuse me, stuttering, when you first purchased the Optune Blade Carrier, it does come with a kangaroo, pa kangaroo pouch insert. So, that does hold three magazines in that kangaroo pouch insert. Now, one of my biggest dilemmas when running just the Optune Play Carrier base is that when I attach things like this, the Juggernaut case, when it's folded down or even attached in general, I have no access to that kangaroo pouch. Now there has been some design changes where they've actually uh, raised the real estate up on the chest a little bit, keeping the same er uh, ergonomic shape, uh, allowing that access, um, especially because some people run CAGWORKS cases, which is a bit smaller than a Juggernaut case. Juggernaut cases are one of the largest ones out there, especially this one, which is designed to fit small tablets. Um, so there has been some design changes there. I still have one of the first prototypes. However, uh, do keep in mind that when you buy just the Optum, it does come with that kangaroo pouch with a three magazine insert. However, if you want to upgrade to a front flap, this right here is one of your basic upgrades for that front flap. Now I'm just gonna get it a bit close for you. Now what this is, is just a front flap with two Velcro attachments that fit right into that kangaroo pouch. Now this all right here is Velcro because this right here flips right up. So that attaches right there. Now you do have ability, that's where uh, your cover button would attach, but this is actually attached by additional Velcro to see that yourself. So you can see how this front flap actually attaches, which is going to be the same concept about how any other upgraded front flap is going to attach as well. So you have the attachment for the front flap, Velcro, and underneath that Velcro flap you have your cummerbund secured into place. So it's not going to interfere every time you need to get in and out. You don't have to worry about your front flap falling off. On top of that, this is one of the most simplest upgrades when it comes to the front flap. Uh, this is just basically, like I said, the Velcro front flap with laser cut webbing into the front instead of Velcro, uh, which allows you to attach additional uh, pouches for your real estate. So for example, in my situation, I've attached, get the focus here, I've attached three AR magazine pouches and one pistol pouch for my Glock 17. Now that's just simplicity, um, and these do come in a variety of colors, so I think the most recent uh, laminate that they provide color-wise is Atax IX, which is going to be a little bit more pricier on the affordability scale, just because I know that per yardage on the laminate rolls is going to be a little bit more expensive than if you're just going with Multicam or, in this scenario, the M81 Woodland. So same thing if you're running an M81 Woodland, this is the same style front flap with the attachment insert that goes right into that kangaroo pouch. And on this front flap, you have three AR magazines, uh, pouches, gridlock, that are also in the color scheme of M81 Woodland. Now, moving on to the most recent evolutionized front flap. And I've been getting a lot of questions on this, so I will kind of try my best to clarify. If you have any additional questions, please leave them below. But this front flap here, let me do this for you. I'm actually just gonna zoom in. So let me just zoom in for you. Perfect. Now I'm gonna go back to talking here so you can see it yourself. Now this front flap has the three AR magazines uh, pouches already attached to the front flap itself. They're more of a bungee retain retainment, uh, but they already come pre-equipped pre -equipped, so you don't have to worry about attaching that, uh, the gridlock uh, weaving yourself and things like that. Uh, and on the front of each magazine pouch, you're, you're given a laser cut vertical row of uh, additional webbing. So that allows you to attach things like pistol pouches, same as you've seen before on the other front flap that I basically uh, customized myself. Now this is gonna allow you what you see here uh, with the ability. Now, to even upgrade and evolutionize on top, this front flap has bungee retentions on both the left and the right sides that allow for things like 
chem lights or uh, Sharpies. <laughs> so keeping it simple, if you can add anything else in there, like you've got a skinny neck flashlight, for example, you're more than welcome to get real creative in it. That's the whole point of adaptability, is for you to get creative and attach things that you're gonna need while out in the field training or on operations. At the bottom of this is gonna be your, uh, again, an Abungee retainer for tourniquets specifically. Tourniquets, that was the primary use, but if you can stick 550 cord uh, in there, that's completely at your discretion. Typically what we run is just a cat's or a rat's tourniquet in these kind of pouches. Now the beauty, what I like the most about these, is this front flap is compatible with other plate carriers if the same plate carrier design allows for it. Um, a lot of people have switched over to the drop down one inch buckles or G hooks. And if you can see here, of course I got mine gaffer taped a little bit just to avoid scratching and things. I have the G hook attachment. Now this option does come with the Velcro attachment, the G hook attachment, and the one inch buckle attachment. Now I've seen through social media that uh, a lot of people are just seeing the, the photos for BeastCombatSystems.com with just the one inch buckles. These, again, do come with the G-Hook attachment. So just check the drop down menu when you're checking this out uh, for that G-Hook option or just go back to the Optum menu so you can see the G-Hook option for yourself. Let me zoom back out here for you. Sorry about that. And moving back on, so this is basically the Optum plate carrier by Beast Combat Systems. And this is the most updated, evolutionized front flap based on consumer preferences, consumer feedback, things like that. Check out Bees Combat Systems at BeesCombatSystems.com. Subscribe to them on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook for the updated uh, tactical gear that's coming out. And be sure to check out some of the new products that have come out like the Sidewing S3 that's compatible with Spirit of Systems uh, MK2 chest rigs. Uh, that's just some of the new features, some of the new products that are coming out right now, especially during this pandemic as we're starting to see this topsy-turvy uh, economical, political crisis that's going on. It's just better to be prepared than not prepared at all. Now the lead time, I, do mu I must say the lead time has dropped down significantly. It was at 1.20 weeks out from purchase order. Now it's up to, or down to five weeks. So keep that in mind. No more 20 week lead times, down to five weeks. So if you want to purchase this today, you could get it by Christmas. <laughs> so thanks for watching. Please subscribe to this channel if you like this video. Please like the video and comment below if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or just want to know more information that you see here. I will gladly respond and that helps me give me it helps give me more ideas for future videos. So once again, my name is Alden Morris. This is the Bees Combat Systems Optune Plate Carrier Loadout, and thank you for watching.